I'm Vivian Malloy. Welcome to my farm in Hyde Park, New York. We're preparing for a visit from the Fazic Tipton um, staff, Dennis Lynch and Max Hodge, who have come to critique our yearlings for the sales in August up at Saratoga. The first yearling is Henny Hughes out of Barely Mine. He's a chestnut colt born March 9th, 2009. Henny Hughes can't get a run. There's not a cow in Texas. This is a leggy henny. This is the leggiest one we've seen. Well, this is definitely two turns. great angles. Um, just his maturity level would be <laughs> coming out of front one thing. His maturity level, I don't know if he's gonna be all together yeah. for the sale. Yeah. What's your still, opinion on it? I mean he's you know he's one of these horses that keeps feeding and he keeps getting taller. He's not getting wider, but he's getting taller. <laughs> I just think every day Day, probably till he's three, it's going to be yeah. a, a new day and a better day for him. And he's a first bull. I mean, he's you know, gigantic wow. for a first bull. Okay, we have made a decision right at this moment that this horse is too immature for the August sales. We're going to prepare him for the September sale in Kentucky. <laughs> the next uh, is a filly. By Bob and John, out of Dr. Diane. She was born April 2nd, 2009. Bob and John. Bob we've, seen, and uh, we've had 45 Bob and Johns nominated. Wow. We've inspected 30 out of those, and we've taken eight for the July. Oh, that's great. Wow. We've seen some nice Bob and Johns. I bought her out of the breeder's sale. Um, you're going to make money on it. Yeah, I looked at the catalog and I said, this is my family. And I said, I got... So uh, I bought her and she's coming along beautifully. She had all the right... You know, I love her hip, I love her shoulder. What'd um, she look like when you got her? Pretty nice. Was she? <laughs> yeah. Was there just no money there? Yeah. Well, it was the breeder's sale. It's never money. New York breeder's sale. New York But I'm surprised because there's enough... There's not going to be another breeder's sale. This filly was to be my personal pinhook. I, I picked her out myself. I think you've done a great job with her in front if, if you had some concerns there. Yeah. So decision made on that filly was uh, Saratoga, August preferred sale. She's got a really nice body. The next filly is a holy bull out of mine tonight's first. She was born February 22nd, 2009, George Washington's yeah, actual like birthday. This is a beauty. Uh, everything on uh, her sire, I don't know where you guys, everything on her sire points to a, a real big fish in the preferred sale. Yeah. Well, um, what were you Greg? guys thinking? Greg's preferred, yeah. We love her. Okay. You know, she's got a physical that would tempt you. We may even go to the big sale, but our sire power is too weak. Right. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. We're happy. Okay, they're happy. I'm happy. Uh, she's going to go in the preferred sale. The discussion was that the dam side is very strong. The sire side is very strong. But the sire is not what they call sexy. He's not new. He's not untried. He's solid, and he's was horse of the year and everything else, holy bull. So he's a proven sire and she'll go in the preferred. 
The next cult is by Quiet American out of Miney's Awesome. He's Bay. He was born March 20th, 2009. Are you concerned about his size? Yes. <laughs> it's early June as I speak. This was taped April 20th. We are no longer concerned about his size. He's grown immensely and he's just fine. Okay, the decision here was made to put this Quiet American Colt into the preferred also. He's by a proven sire. Quiet American um, has produced many, many wonderful horses. And um, we don't have to worry about sire power. Miney's Awesome herself, her first foal is a winner. And they didn't have that in their book, so that perked their ears up a little bit. Decision made, Saratoga Preferred in Saratoga, New York. This is a hook and ladder colt out of Okie Dokie Rosie, born April 12, 2009. The discussion in the beginning is the fact that Dennis does not know about hook and ladder as a stallion. He's a uh, local New York stallion. So we are um, Got a really good educating body. him about hook uh, and ladder. His half sister sold, he sold in the sale last year for 35000 to read the footnotes. And I say, can I make peace? We are reminding the um, sales company that his half sister sold for $35,000. She was by Read the Footnotes, also a local New York stallion. And that was a very, very good price. It was a terrible sale. So we're just telling them about last year. Like a big truck. You just showing he could go on the turf, too. You know, big truck by hook and ladder. Second in the Florida Derby. walking a little bit coming back like Max did coming out of Thorndale last night. <laughs> this is a bluegrass cat out of Then She Laughs. He's a bay colt and he was born <laughs> May got, 2nd. Uh, got some distorted humor parts on him. Yeah. And fiber and stuff. Yeah. Pull, pull him up just a, maybe. Step, yeah, stand him a little bit. Okay. That's pretty good. See, this one looks like he'd be fat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've seen 23 bluegrass cats. Well, we have 23 nominated. We've looked at 11 of them. We've taken three for July, one for the main sale. Wow. One colt and one filly. One colt, one filly, two for the main sale. Oh, this is the preferred. I mean, this brother did well. And I mean, God, you just you shine so much there. What? You mean you guys yeah. get above the crowd, and that's we told everybody. Wherever you go, whatever day, sale, session, or whatever, get someplace where you're going to be thought of in the top ten percent. Because hey, that middle of the road used to be okay, and now the middle of the road. This colt is a full brother to a colt that was sold last year at Saratoga. Preferred for seventy-two thousand uh, dollars, and he is now nice called field. Hysterical yeah. Cat, and he's breezing. So that's a good sign. I sure like him. He be ready tomorrow. He wasn't so fuzzy. <laughs> he sure doesn't seem like a mayfoal. We're happy. Well, come on in, cause I have lemonade. I know you had a coat. I said, Coke. I said, Why do they have a coat? I have homemade lemonade. What do you want us to do? What are you guys going to do with Henny? I don't think he should be in the I don't either. Yeah. We, we We're going to withdraw him. Okay. Because yeah. yeah. I'm not going to have this on my permanent record with the nuns that said I turned down this guy that <laughs> broke his maiden first time out because I didn't think he'd be early enough. <laughs> Thank you again for joining us on this very important day of decision making for Edition Farm and all of Durlings. We hope to see you in Saratoga. If not before, bye.